अंतरराष्ट्रीय आलोचना चक्र से आलोचना चक्र के नाम आई सी पीरियोडिक लेक्चर सीरिज and to the international conference of philosophical contribution of contemporary thinkers ei je shobhati ei alochona antarjatik alochona chokroti blended mode amra korchi amra ekhane matro koyekjon uposthit achi amader official youtube channel er madhye raj college er official youtube channel er madhye sara desh theke सम्मान स्वागत चैनले तो अनुष्ठान मूल पर्व चले जाब ए शुरू कर दायित्व प्राणी विद्या विभाग विभाग प्रधान सोमा बंदोपाध्याय हाथ तुले दीची थैंक 
dignitaries on stage, I would like to invite our honorable principal, Dr. Niranjan Rinal, IPSC coordinator, Dr. Piyali Bandhapadhyay Dutta. Please do come on the stage, ma'am. HOB, Bhagwan Raj College, Department of Bengali, Dr. Bhananjay Bhusar. Please, sir, do come on the stage. HOD, Department of Sanskrit, Bhagwan Raj College, Dr. Shinanta Chattopadhyay. Sir, please come on the stage. At first, we would like to felicitate our guests. Small gifts will be given and our students of Department of Philosophy will welcome our guests. Students, please proceed. Students are welcoming our principal. They are putting a tilak, chandan tilak, anus pole, and a small gate, uttoryo, and in keeping with the ecosystem, we are offering small plants to the dignitaries. I would expect big help. Uh, I mean, please clap. I would expect big, big hand from the audience. Please encourage our students. Next. Next, our IQC man is being greeted by our students. <coughs> students are felicitating Dr. Piyali Vandapadai Dutta, our IQC Bhagavan Raj College. Why is the world so silent? Please clap and welcome. Next students are felicitating Dr. Gramanjay Ghoshal, HOD Department of Bengali, Bhagavan Raj College. Students, we basically felicitate now Dr. Sumanda Chakrabhadhyay, HOD, Department of Sanskrit, Badran Raj College. Now we will move on to our next program. We will inaugurate the program with a Vedic hymn chanting by an ex student of our college, esteemed college, Amartya Shengupta. I would like to invite Mr. Amartya Shengupta on stage. <coughs> Namaskar everyone, a uh, very warm welcome to this uh, auspicious inauguration ceremony. Uh, let us first invoke the Shivatva or the divi divinity within us through the Vedic mantras of Shukla Yajur Ved. Hare Om Bhadram Karne Bhidit Shrilam Deva Bhadram Pashyemaksha Bhiryadatraha 
YouTube channel of the college to be a part of this August gathering. Bortman Raj College, with its rich legacy in the field of higher education, spanning nearly a century and a half, has always been in the forefront of teaching, learning, innovation and research with its own limited infrastructure and scope. The Seminar Committee of the College is entrusted with the task of research orientation and free and open exchange of ideas for academic ascent and excellence among its faculty as well as students who also take a keen interest to delve deep into the diverse areas of study. As a part of our commitment and continuous endeavor to reach newer horizons of research and innovation, we are glad to present the ICPR-sponsored periodic lecture series and two-day international conference on philosophical contributions of contemporary thinkers. We are extremely happy that a galaxy of well-known scholars from India and abroad have kindly agreed to share their valuable thoughts 
and resources with us. The event has also evoked a considerable degree of interest in the academia, and we have received over 60 research, research papers from different parts of the country, mostly from young members of the faculty of different colleges, universities, and research scholars. We greatly appreciate the wholehearted participation of students, especially undergraduate students of our college, who have submitted nearly 20 research contributions to the conference, which speak volumes to their academic pursuits. What is heartening to note in this respect is that one of our esteemed resource person, Professor Govind Sharan Upadhyay, Acharya, Department of Philosophy, Srivabhan University, Kathmandu, Nepal, has kindly offered to donate the full amount of his honorarium for the event as a prize money for commendable student paper presenters in the conference. We firmly believe that this unparalleled gesture of Professor Upadhyay would go a long way in encouraging and motivating young minds to undertake newer exploration to understand avenues of knowledge with greater zeal. It is our sincere expectation that paper presentation in this conference would not merely be restricted to the spheres of academic and intellectual exercise, but also ensure the holistic development of ethical quality, moral values, and humanistic ideas, sans any narrowness of vision for the inclusive growth of humankind. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shabda, for your eliminating, uh, eliminating daily bullets. Now, uh, I think uh, he has made it clear the goal and motive and also the extent of the seminar reaching out far and wide. Now I would like to uh, invite secretary of this uh, today conference, Dr. Om Shankar Dube from our own Department of Philosophy, Barban Raj College for his address. Good morning. It is with great pleasure and enthusiasm that I extend my warmest greetings to all the participants of the ICPS sponsored periodic lecture series and today international conference organized by the Department of Philosophy in collaboration with IQVC, Badwan Raj College. I am deeply thank thankful to the ICPR for their sponsorship. Their support has been vital in making this uh, event happen. Contemporary philosophy is all about understanding the world we live in today. Contemporary philosophers explore these questions using new ideas and approaches, often building on the work of philosophers from the past. Contemporary philosophy is diverse and dynamic, reflect, reflecting the many different perspectives and cultures of our modern world. In a time of rapid technological advancement, social change and global interconnectedness, philosophical inquiry provides valuable tools for understanding and navigating these complexities. This conference is a platform for the exchange of ideas where both Indian and Western contemporary philosophers' thoughts and their impact on the society will take center stage. We are thrilled to have gathered a diverse group of scholars, intellectuals and students to delve into these thought-provoking discussions. I am pleased to announce that a total of 150 participants have registered for this conference, highlighting the keen interest and enthusiasm within the philosophical community. Among these participants, we are proud to have undergraduate and postgraduate students who will be presenting their papers showcasing the next generation's engagement with philosophical inquiry. I am delighted to share that we have received papers in English, Bangla and Hindi 
reflecting the linguistic and the cultural diversity of our philosophical discourse. This inclusive approach ensures that voices from various backgrounds and regions can contribute meaningfully to our discussions. Furthermore, we are pleased to announce that papers from the other disciplines have been received, allowing us to explore the contributions of contemporary thinkers from interdisciplinary perspectives. This interdisciplinary dialogue will provide valuable insight into the evolving landscape of contemporary thought. I am confident that this conference will be an enriching experience for all involved, fostering intellectual exchange, collaboration and inspiration. I look forward to the insightful conversation and connections that will emerge from our time together. Thank you. A big thanks to Dr. Om Shankar Dube. Now, all of us will be welcomed by Honorable Principal with his welcome address. I would like to invite Dr. Nilanjan Mundal for his welcome address. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is with a great pleasure and immense pride that I extend a warm welcome and happy felicitation to all in this august gathering of illuminated minds on behalf of Raj College in ICPR sponsored periodic series and two-day international conference on philosophical contributions of contemporary thinkers. This event organized by the Department of Philosophy in collaboration with IKC and similar committee of our college promises to be an exciting and erudite exploration of today's philosophical ideas. We are here to learn discuss, reflect deeply about the contribution and thoughts of contemporary thinkers, men of ideas. It provides us with a wonderful opportunity to come together, share our ideas and understand the world better. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to the Indian Philosophy Council of Philosophical Research for their kind sponsorship. Their support has played a crucial role in bringing this event to life and underscores the need to support fundamental research in diverse fields of higher education. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all of our respected teachers, guests, honorable guests, evidence speakers, delegates and participants for gracing this occasion with their kind presence and invaluable contribution. Noted scholars and resource persons from concerned fields are going to illuminate us with their wisdom and knowledge, mapping the importance and significance of different concepts propounded by philosophers of different views during the course of the conference. Your involvement in this event deeply underscores the worth and implications of intellectual collaboration and reinforcement of our commitment to academic excellence. I must also put in a word of appreciation here of many of our students who have, uh, whom I have learned are going to present their papers in this conference. 
I commend them for their effort and bless them with a bright future. I thank the organizer, faculty, members and staff for their hard work in putting this Herculean task together and a big thank you to the students volunteers for their dedicated and hard work. I acknowledge the cooperation, help and guidance of the University of Darwin, our alma mater. With all sincerity and modesty, I do hereby welcome all, including press personal training and other concerned persons who have immense contribution to make the program a success. Finally, I take the opportunity of having every faith and belief that all of you will enjoy the occasion with pleasure and would excuse the lapses and faults, if any, by your appreciable magnanimity. I wish you a stimulating and faithful experience during the ICPR sponsored periodic lecture series and international conference. My best wishes for the grand success of the event. Thank you. Many thanks, sir. Unfortunately, our guest in chief today, who was to inaugurate the seminar, the Vice Chancellor of the University is pre-engaged with certain official work. He couldn't come. But he has blessed us with a message, and I would like to invite my colleague Shoma to read out the message from the Honorable Vice Chancellor. I am glad to know that the Department of Philosophy of Bhagwan Raj College, Bhagwan, in association with IQSC of the college, is going to organize ICPR sponsored periodic lecture series and a two day international conference in Vendedmo on philosophical contributions of contemporary thinkers during 15th and 16th March 2024. I hope the conference will be immensely successful in provoking new thoughts and ideas and the deliberations will enrich all concerned. It is also pleasing to know that a digital booklet of the conference will be published. I convey my best wishes to all the members of the organizing committee and those who are actively involved in the publication of the digital booklet of the conference. I wish the event a grand success. This is the message from our honorable VC, Professor Gautam Chandra. the Honorable Registrar of a University and who is also the Inspector of Colleges has also blessed us with his message. May I now request Shoma to read out his message. I feel extremely happy to learn that the Department of Philosophy Bhagwan Raj College in collaboration with IQAC Bhagwan Raj College is going to organize the ICPR sponsored periodic lecture series and two day international conference in the blended mode on philosophical contributions of contemporary thinkers held on and from 15th and 16th March 2024. I am sure that students, scholars, faculties and staff members will be greatly benefited from this conference. Best wishes from your registrar, Dr. Sujit Kumar Chaudhary, University of Badwan. Thank you. Now I will a big clap for their beautiful and warm wishes for all of us. Now we we'll move on to the most big step of this international conference. We will inaugurate 
the digital booklet and this will be done by our honorable principal dr niranjan mundal uh, i would like to join all other members are in the uh, in the audience yes please to, to be to be part of this process of inaugurating the digital booklet ashu i would request our ma'am iqc Dr. Shilanka Chattopadhyay and Nanamjai, Dr. Nanamjai Ghoshal to please join in the process of inaugurating the digital booklet. And this is a big achievement from our side, from the seminar committee and this is the first time that we are conducting a blended mode of international seminar. Please, please do clap. Students, please. This is a big event, big event in our history of Bhagwan Raj College, and this is the first time that we are doing so. And we hope that in future we will be doing many more. But first time is first time always. So I would expect a big clap, big clap, big hand from the hall, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Now. Uh, uh, yes. uh, this this digital book booklet is now being made available in in the WhatsApp group as well as the college website. Now. Last but not the least, the presidential address from the president of our governing body, Bhagwan Raj College, will be read out by Dr. Shabda Chakraborty. Our honorable president of our college, Dr. Shapan Kumar Pan, was scheduled to come today uh, in the inaugural session, but. He has got some very important business, so he couldn't, he couldn't be with us today and he has expressed his regret, sincere regret for, 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 for his not being present today. But he has sent us a message uh, and I am reading out the message sent by our, our respected uh, President Sir, our guardian. He has written, it gives me immense pleasure to learn that the Department of Philosophy of Bortman Raj College, in association with the IQAC and Seminar Committee of the College, is organizing the ICPR-sponsored periodic lecture series and two-day international conference on philosophical contribution of contemporary thinkers on 15th, 16th March, 2024. It once again confirms our college's unwavering commitment to academic excellence. The word philosophy, derived from the Greek word philosophia, means the love for wisdom. It tackles fundamental questions about life and living, nature and human existence, rationality, religion, etc. Thus, philosophical insights of stalwarts from diverse fields of study, from ages immemorial, have successfully shaped the progressive merge of humanity. It's but natural that the contemporary thinkers would carry forward that merge with all the human in their command. Their wisdom, their knowledge, their intellectual power, all are reflected through the philosophic ideas that they generate. Contemporary thinkers continue to mold philosophical discourse, addressing complex issues relevant to our world today. I truly believe participants at this conference, with all their erudition, will deliberate on different aspects of philosophic thoughts of contemporary thinkers from diverse disciplines. Undoubtedly, philosophical understanding provides the backbone of our knowledge base of a given subject and its application in our lives ensures the proper progress of each and every one of us. Hence, I have the considered opinion that this conference would enable us not only to read deeply into the intellectual and philosophic contributions of contemporary thinkers, but also encourage us to instill their visions and values highlighting the essence and excellence of man. I'm told that side by side with a panel of distinguished experts, a considerable number of young scholars are participating in the conference. I'm sure 
that they will be able to chart out newer readings into the world of philosophic thoughts of contemporary thinkers. I sincerely thank the organizers for having provided a platform to these researchers to deliberate on this important issue and with wish the conference all success. Signed, Dr. Shopun Kumar Pal. With this, we come to an end of this inaugural session and we shall be proceeding to our first lecture series immediately here on. So stay put uh, wherever you are and I thank our respected guests who are on the ties for uh, providing us with the valuable time uh, and inaugurating this noble exercise. Thank you very much. Audience is ex uh, requested to please bear with us. We'll just set up the stage and move on to our next session. The first technical session will be uh, started a few minutes, a like few minutes later.
Thank you, students. I would like to briefly introduce our honorable speaker. Our honorable speaker, Professor Dr. Amin Purna Mitra of Department of Philosophy, NUC Women's College, has a number of national and international publications in his credit. He has also authored a book, Aesthetic East and West, under publisher Big Worldly Publishers. At present, he has two scholars working under his esteemed guidance. He has also completed many minor and major research projects. Now, I would like to hand over to Dr. Sir for his uh, esteemed talk. Thank you, sir. Please, sir. Oh, sorry. I would like to uh, give the topic of his lecture, The Bedrock Certainty, a study in Wit Gainstein's Uncertainty. Sir, please.
সেই তথ্যটা কিন্তু যে মজুমদার জানে বলে দাবি করছে তার কিন্তু বেশি নিশ্চিত হতে হবে তাহলে জ্ঞানের দাবিটা কিন্তু যথাযথ হবে না
their condition which made this sort of activities possible. So, if the knowledge is just not sufficient for the particular area, it is based on the condition of the number of positions. Jadi jarak pun itu boleh binti logo tangan ni. Jadi ni tu eight second ini binti logo tangan ni aje. Ini second ini constitute kau cuci je. Group of positions, they are groundless, shapeless, and they are fused into the foundation of language. Ini. Atau mana ni punca mana? Jadi ini mana? Jadi sabar pun language ni. Jadi from the background of language ni mana ni positions? Ini mana? We are not, we speak so many things about the world. We think about it in so many ways. Nana, but the Nana, the Jaur Shambhu, the Nana, the Kapanani, the Vakna Chinta Kuri. To the fundamental propositions, they underlie all our speech and thought about the world. Just like rules of language which underlie language, which underlies language. This is a study of history. It is false on the certainty that the world exists and is existing since the time of antiquity. Suppose that the art did not exist for a long time or just came to exist a little ago, say 5 years ago or say 200 years ago, history as a branch of study would be impossible. Studying history is saying the language that involves the activities of doubting, the occurrences of some events, believing the occurrences of other, some other events, framing hypotheses in favor of the events that are believed to, uh, believed to occur. Collecting evidences to buttress their hypothesis, drawing conclusions, and finally making noise claim. This entire game is made on the certainty that art is existing and is of the great antiquity. Although this certainty makes it impossible, it does not belong to the game. It is a condition of playing the game. Whenever scientists want to estimate the age of the world, their inquiry is conducted on the basis of the assumption that the world has been existing for a long time. This belief is supposed to support any type of inquiry carried out either by historians or anthropologists or geologists or etymologists. How do you know that the biggest one is uncertainty? So let me bang like to hold you, J.A.K. Bunna at a point, the reading of structure. इतिहास चर्चा में तो यही विषय में तो बांग्ला से भी पीढ़ी का बंधन जब हो सकती तो शेयर कारण जब भी पीढ़ी का दूसरा बच्चा नहीं हो सकती तो शेयर तो तालेब में तो इतिहास अत विषय विषय को संभव होता ना जिसको ना संभव की हिंगारी शेयर में तो यही साधन तीनों बीते के बांग्ला जी बार क्वेश्चन � for the writing to English things here in your book, right? The game of doubting. The game of doubting itself is a very certain thing. In my little question, shall I use the word show? Doubting and non-doubting behavior, there is the first only, there is the second. Tell me if there is non-doubting behavior, then there is doubting behavior. Let me explain it. Doubting is a social practice. It is a game. Game means a social practice. And it must have a tarnation, a tarnation point. And they put a rule of the game. Jeku no dhuna dhuna ta kaki je ki must have a terminating point. So doubt can be get rid of by citing the presentation of adequate evidences. We cannot doubt everything. We have to make sense of doubt. If we have to carry out our practical life smoothly. Mane shiki? The reason in mind does not have certain doubts. Language can be spread in this way. In language it is possible if one trusts something. Now I don't want to don't take this always, I am just giving an example. Citizens of India were skeptical about the promises made by the candidates before the commencement of election. It is not the physical existence of the candidates or their origin from bonus in the that has been put it out. But Indian voters become skeptical about the actualization of the promises made by the politicians by drawing lessons from past experiences. Now this kind of doubt can be resolved and it becomes to a language game. Video training does not call into question the authenticity of this kind of doubt. But to ask whether it is possible that politicians do not exist, I mean doubt of our extreme fully. 
তাদের প্রমিস না তাদের প্রমিস গুলো আছে কি এখানে সংসার করতে হবে কিন্তু যদি ডাক্তার তাদের স্ট্যান্ড করি এটা কি পসিবল দ্যাট পলিটিশিয়ান টু ডু দিস অর দ্যাট সেল ইজ পসিবল দ্যাট অল থিং সাইন ইজ নট এক্সিস্ট কে রাখুন বলুন ইট ইজ লাইক আস্কিং দ্য কোশ্চেন হোয়েদার ইউ হ্যাভ ডিসকাউন্ট ক্রিয়েটেড ইন অল আর কালকুলেশনস সাপোজ আই অ্যাডমিট দ্যাট আই অ্যাম কমপ্লিটলি ডিসটিং ইন পার্টিকুলার কালকুলেশন এন্ড ইফ মাই অ্যাডমিশন মেকস সেন্স ইট গেটস কন্ট্রাস্টেড উইথ দ্য কেস দ্যাট নো মিস্টেক হ্যাজ বিন কমিটেড But if we extend our doubt even to this contrasting case where no mistake has been committed, and wonder if it is possible to get uh, to recalculate in all our calculations, it will be not it will not be an acceptable position. And similarly, an acceptable in the position which holds that all things around us around us do not exist. The claim of the skeptic, a position which radically implies the validity of every statement we make about physical objects. Are you suspecting the authenticity of all our calculations, and analogically, you are suspecting the existence of, in suspecting every statement we make about these kind of objects? One is not adhering to the rule of language game. One is that language game that defines the concept of doubting. One is not playing the game properly. <coughs> and in such point, sir, doubt gradually loses its sense. The language game. Just is like that. Gradually loses its sense. Can I make a point? At a certain stage of human development, Shikhani, we doubted the existence of a planet in certain position of our galaxy. Later, it was proved by uh, accurate observation that there actually existed a planet in that special position, and later it was named Saturn. However, with respect to your side, it was never doubted by anyone. Even when we did not present this proof, rather he had two months. Since he was a creature of three shades, not. But due to the situation, the situation pertaining to the existence of planet and the situation pertaining to the existence of the mass, these two, two situations are perfectly different situations. The memory advanced from the case of the planet to the case of moon sand. This all becomes the problem, probability of continuous steps. Tell me, when we approximate from the case of the planet to the case of the moon, at some point, this step becomes inconceivable. Many of these presents lie at this point. Tell me, we have reached the bedrock with respect to certain things like I have a body, there a world exists, etc., etc. No mistake is possible in this realm. We are saying that just this proposition just stand fast for us. You need to test it. Can zero stand fast for us? They need not be tested. No mistake can be uh, committed in respect of propositions which stand fast for us. And if standing fast for us, it only got to be. It only got to be stated also in the book. We just have to make a short note about it. It is a Bangla word, but it is very short. It is taken to a very basic level. One thing is that the language is very simple. Language is a very simple word. Language is a form of life. One thing is that it is short. One thing is that it is a form of life, but one thing is that it is a long one. For the other thing is that it is very simple. Bangla, how is it? A very basic level. That is what it means. Questions for radio sector ages. Since an anti It was time mentioned that this proposition from the scaffolding of human thought, they have constituted the, the scaffolding of human thought. Scaffolding means what? Which is a group of dani ki koche, actually mystery binding one koche. It is shara kum. A certain thing koche, it is not a scaffolding. Which group of dani ki language game ta khela koche. We play the language game standing upon which. You know, manav chinta antara le jub jub thore kintu ek us sapo dijebe jub ti ko chinta. समर्थनशील फ्रेमवर्क 
is represented is represented by means of two meter box. At the meter box, what are we checking? J. These kinds of propositions are like base and banks of the river down which the stream of ordinary discourse flows. जब देखो बैंक के रिपोर्ट दी कि वो चीज़ नदी प्रवाहित हो चुकी है शरपुन एक साल में जितने रिपोर्ट दिए अमावर ऑर्डिनरी डिस्कोर्स से जो धारा शरपुन प्रवाहित हो चुकी है ये ऐसे यूज़ सम ऑर्डिनरी में रिपोर्ट डिस्कूट अबाउट अदर थिंग्स दिस इज़ इन मोबाइल दिस इज़ विच ऑन विच ये डिस्कूट इरान में दाढ़ी है, the boat swings, but the hinge is immovable. Similarly, these subtleties are like hinges on it, and these subtleties must be fixed in order for the door of inquiry, of questions and answers to function in any significant way. ताकि living in these hinge positions is not a arbitrary choice. We have to accept certain things. There is no option for us to question them. It is a way of life. Wittgenstein says, my life consists. In view my content to accept many things, a character ethical interpretation. Why? Because we are talking about something which is a question for both the political question. Let us understand it. But if we extend our bounds to even this basic certainties, our entire system will crumble, and consequently, the meaning of words we use will be called into question. And in that case, we will not be able to make sense of doubt also. Sentences, informative sentences, sentences. For example, the hinge. There exists people other than myself. It is a condition necessary for understanding, understanding the use and meaning of the things and meaning of such descriptive statements like the world population double between 1950 and 1990. 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 The world population double between if you transgress this bound of sense, it will become courage. It will amount in a kind of madness. That is, it will involve us to think and act in the certainty that we might be dead or a dead might be living. It will not answer the question of the question of the question of the question of the question. Similarly, the present existence of the world is not merely a mistake, it is an aberration. It is a kind of, it is a gift of nonsense. We cannot doubt some things if we have to make sense of our life and beat. This denial of this bounds of sense amounts to the denial of the ground standing upon which we make any judgments at all. We make any judgments at all. Your problem is simply not predictions. The concrete quota is very much. As all sudden the progresses, we can study gradually. And I said the position that you didn't have a position and a position at all. A position of the character of bipolarity. It might be either true and false. You didn't have a position and not cannot be true and false because they cannot be doubted. So, you didn't have a type of position, they lack the feature of the position. They are neither true nor false. They can neither be known nor can be unknown. They can neither be justified nor can be unjustified. They form a world picture. And Wittgenstein says that this one picture is inherited. It's a, it is a kind of mythology. Can I mythology tell you? Can you look at it? In mythology, it is a kind of bathroom job of some kind of bathroom. Similarly, a proposition below, they do not picture the world. They have nothing to do with two and two times positive. Mythology is two times positive. It's a correct thing. It's a kind of proposition below, in mythology, two times positive. It's a kind of bathroom. But our world picture, we can tell in some certain community religion, we inherited world picture. It is a mythology because, because uh, in the sense that it is not based on evidence. And a mythology is not based on evidence, but it can be cited as evidences. 
taking psychedelic evidence. In the same way, Indian politicians, uh, they are not based on evidence, but they can act as evidences. Therefore, this world picture, this group of certain, certain things, media assurances, they form the limited background and provides the structure within which the game of true and falsity is played. That way, it's structure and put into Shukta Mitra Kharagamachi. It also in Era into Era Shukta Mitra Kharagamachi. Shukta Mitra Kharagamachi. Did you see what you were saying? Identified. 
As the digging process continues, one of the rescuers identified the object and shouted out, Where is the ant? In this circumstance, saying that the sentence here is the ant has some use. It is a literary description, it carries sense. But in real scenario, the sentence, Here is the ant, does not work. It conveys no certainty that was not known before that was previously hidden. Therefore, in real circumstances, this utterance of the sentence is utterly useless and accordingly it does not bear in sin, it cannot be seen in real circumstances. For the Muslim certainty, it is a kind of silent trust in a problem. Within a language game, it cannot be said, its only mode of utterance is that of showing. It shows itself in our non man in our blessing operating with the world. The means have to be articulated as I am a body. It shows itself in our spontaneously acting in the certainty of having a body. For example, in my standing, in my swallowing, in my chewing, in my resisting myself from committing such absurd activities like penetrating the world as if I have a disembodied spirit. So being certainty is the manifest itself. All these kind of activities are played on the certainty that I have a body. Through these activities, real certainties are manifested. So real certainties are manifested in the ongoing smoothness of the give and take of every existence. Then real certainty, this is a hand. This is a hand. It shows the clear of This is a hand. When you speak about the hand, when you act with the hand, for example, you are cooking, you are drawing, you are saying you are the injured happiness. But in the Buddha scenario, this is a hand, has no use, it cannot be verbally articulated. This is the instance criticism of Coming to trust or deciding to trust. 
I am she, I deserve to trust, I come to trust, it is a conscious undertaking. It is logically secondary to community trust. I do not trust a cut of a chip at a time I am trust at a secondary trust. Plenty of trust in the land, deciding to trust, coming to trust, this is a secondary trust. But if I do not contain the trust, I never object to contain the trust, I can't trust 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 the trust, I can't trust
and proposition and judgment inference, they are not at the origin of our knowledge. Hence, Mulechi, our movement is not from proposition towards the deed, the process is reverse. From being into pass into thinking, from a non differentiated natural take hold, we pass into the region of sophistication, hesitation, reflection, pondering. If we travel in this direction, we are not. If we travel in this direction, we are not in this direction. If we travel in this direction, we are not in the road block, which philosophers should take the other route, confronted with or confronted with. That is the inexplicable gap between our thinking and our acting. In the details of our approach, that is, in our being to thinking approach, no systemic intermediaries, no protocol or observation statements will intervene between our perceiving the world and our grasping it. Skeptics fail to, to recognize the spontaneity of our beginning.
not found just by outer translation of inner fit by means of certain symbols, but rather a cardinal is found by regularly repeated acts practice. So also he believes visible moral action can be acquired through innovation, through practice, through assimilating into a particular form of life, through performance. So like religious belief are basic certainties ultimately and enacted faith. Since we cannot leave the complete Kochi without this, we can say how to change how this basic trust flourishes, something mystical that can only put it to words, age of any religious relation to my culture. I am concluding in two or three sentences. But we cannot live without this simple fundamental trust. Therefore, the question of knowledge and disappear and, and doubt do not appear to be of lesser importance because we cannot live without them. Here certainty is the point of ultimate trust. Sutaran, there is certainty before knowledge, uh, there is certainty before knowledge, there is belief before doubt. There is doing before, uh, there is doing before or sitting. So here ends my presentation. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, listening patiently. I'm rather taxing the mind. I think the philosophy is something very abstract. And uh, my students, uh, after um, uh, well, at the 45 minutes I left my class, uh, they will try to uh, stop my lectures. She said, I am not going to be able to do my work. She said, I am not going to be able to do my work. She said, I am not going to provide the mic. पार्थक्य <laughs> जस्ट एक विषय जिज्ञासा छो नलेज सार्टिटीशन इंटन रेखे आद की उन्नार बक्तव्य मध्य इंटन बेपारे प्रथम कथा और द्वित कथा हम मैथमेटिकल प्रपोजिशन सम्बन्ध अर्थात गाणितिक जो सब चिंताधारा गो आ उदाहरण प्रकाशकोलॉजी मैं <laughs> इंटरप्रिटेशन 
সেটা মানে ক্লারিফাই করতে হবে ইনটিউশন দেয়া গিভেন এন্ড ইন্টারপ্রিটেশনস অফ ইনটিউশন আচ্ছা আচ্ছা যেমন কান্ট একটা একটা তিন ইনটিউশন শব্দটা ব্যবহার করেছেন মানে এটা যখন কোনো ক্লারিফাই করছো না বলে আপনি ইনটিউশন ইনটিউশন কে ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ গেমের মধ্যে লাগবে না তার ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড হিসেবে না আমি জাস্ট একটা অনুভব আমাদের যে একটা অনুভবের মানে সেন্স এক্সপেরিয়েন্স তাই তো সেন্স এক্সপেরিয়েন্সের উপর যে মানে আমি যখন এই বোতলটাকে টাচ করে স্পর্শ করে আমি একটা অনুভব করতে পারছি এটা একটা আলাদা জিনিস আর আমি আমার অস্তিত্বটাকে অনুভব করছি যেটা এটা এটা ওইটা জায়গায় যদি চলে যায় ওটা কিন্তু বেসিক সার্টেনটির মধ্যে হচ্ছে বেসিক সার্টেন আর ইট ক্যান বি ফ্রেম ইনটু প্রপোজিশন উই জাস্ট ফিল ইট थैंक जिजाइट विश्लेषण दार्शनिक दार्शनिक चिंता भावना बड़ ना कि दर्शन संगे जीवन के मिलिए शांति पथे चला द्वारा बोला जीवन शुरू हो चिंता लक्षण 
তার কথা কাছের মধ্যে কিন্তু খুব সাম্য দেখতে পাবে সেরকম কোনো ব্যক্তি যদি দেখতে পান বিবেকানন্দের কথা বলছি রবীন্দ্রনাথের কথা বলছি তো রবীন্দ্রনাথ স্থিত ভোগ্য তার সন্তান মারা গেছে মঙ্গেরে তিনি দাওয়া করে আসছেন দেখলেন যে বাইরে চন্দ্রালোকে মানে চন্দ্রালোকের সমস্ত জগৎ উপাসিত হচ্ছে সেই পূর্ণতার মধ্যে কোনো কোনো অপূর্ণতা নেই কি উপলব্ধি তার বুদ্ধের মৃত্যুতে তার কি মানে সর্বব্যাপক সত্তা কি উপলব্ধি এটা তার স্থিত ভোগ্য বিশ্বাস করি সমস্ত জীবনের এইভাবে আমরা দেখতে পারি কি জিনিসটাকে মানে সলভ করতে পারি Good morning, sir. Hi. I am Lavani Bond Pathar. I am a junior research fellow pursuing PhD from Jadavpur University. Thank you. Uh, now, I have understood that through your wonderful presentation that sometimes when the global skeptics are posing questions to us, we can challenge them by not directly answering to their question, hmm. but by showing them hmm. that their questions are full of the products of conceptual confusion. Hmm. Now, I think that the information that we have now absorbed is primarily on the basis of Wittgenstein's uncertainty. My question is, I have read that several years ago, and we have comprehended through that book, is Wittgenstein there focused more on the impossibility of doubt rather than uncertainty. Uh, is it a very logical takeaway or interpretation of me, sir? Yes, you can uh, interpret the text. Uh, you have gone through the text on certain day? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, yes, you can interpret in that way. Hmm. Okay. He tried to resolve uh, skeptical doubts. Okay. And in that way, he tries to bring out the features of our basic certainties. Because without these basic certainties, doubts, skeptical doubts, global doubt cannot be resolved. জায়গা কিন্তু হ্যাঁ আর আমি বলি এবার আমি একটা মাইনার রিসার্চ প্রজেক্ট করেছিলাম এটার উপর ওয়ান সেভেন্টির উপর সেটা চোদ্দ সালে তারপর অনেকদিন পড়ি বলি তারপর আমাকে বললো যে বলতে হবে কিছু আমি তো এটার উপরেই বলি আবার ছিলে ছিলে সে প্রজেক্টটা বার করে পড়ে পড়ে এসেছে আর কি মানে আমার এখন কাজের বিষয় হচ্ছে কারণ তোমার পলিটিক্যাল ফিলোসফি এস্থেটিক্স আর কি স্কেটিসিজম নিয়ে খুব মানে তুমি তো এখানে কাজ করছো মানে জানো একটু মানে আমার সময়টা আর কি প্রশ্নটা করো আর কি স্বীকার করছেন বা ধরুন ফাউন্ডেশনাল স্টেটমেন্ট গুলো স্বীকার করছেন সেই স্টেটমেন্ট গুলো এপ্রিকেল স্টেটমেন্ট এর বেসিস হিসাবে তিনি নিচ্ছেন এবার বিষয় হচ্ছে আবার তিনি যখন ধরুন এথিক্স এর দিকে আলোচনা করছেন এথিক্যাল স্টেটমেন্ট গুলোকে নন সেন্সিক্যাল বলছেন ট্রান্সেন্ডেন্টাল বলছেন তো হিটগেনস্টাইন যখন এই বেডরক বা আমরা ফাউন্ডেশনাল স্টেটমেন্ট গুলোর কথা বলছেন তার এগেনস্টে কি ক্রাইটেরিয়া তিনি দিচ্ছেন তার প্রুফ কি দিবি কি দিচ্ছেন সেই বিষয়গুলো যেগুলো আমরা স্বীকার করব কেন বা ওইগুলোর পেছনে তার কারণগুলো কি কি আছে যে জন্য আমি এগুলোকে বেডরক স্টেটমেন্ট বলবো বা ফাউন্ডেশনাল স্টেটমেন্ট বলবো যুক্তি হয় না আমি কত পার্সনেট করি কনভার্ট করি ঠিক সেরকম আর কি এই কনভার্টটা উনি মানে মানে থ্রু মানে ইমিডিয়েট কথা বলছেন এটা আমরা জন্মেছি সেইভাবে এটা কিন্তু চ্যালেঞ্জ হয় না এটা আমাদের জীবনকে গঠিত করছে এটা চ্যালেঞ্জ করা যায় না বিজনেস না এইবার জিনিসটা দেখছে হ্যাঁ এটা মানে বেস্ট সাইড অন এভিডেন্সেস হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ
proceed on to the technical session. I would like to invite first offline speaker. I am repeating the term offline because it is a blended mode of uh, this uh, seminar is being conducted in blended mode. A parallel online session is also uh, being uh, telecasted or, or is being conducted. Now this is the offline session. Uh, I, I request Mr. Neemal Devnath, Assistant Professor, Department of History, Bhattan Dutch College to illuminate us with his talk. The topic is the educational philosophy of Rabindranath Tagore and its relevance to modern education. Good afternoon, respected chairperson and the audience, my fellow colleagues. Today, in an international seminar, I am going to presenting my paper, The Educational Philosophy of Rabindranath Tagore and its relevance to modern education. Rabindranath Tagore, a great thinker of India, is an educator and enlightened philosopher who dedicates his whole life on human regeneration on the base of his philosophy and education. His educational philosophy is an attempt at self-accomplished by means of affinity with nature and God. He thinks that the ultimate goal of education is not merely to improve ourselves through wisdom and cognition, but also to set up the bond of friendship and love between human beings. Tego realized the universal soul within himself through his imagination. This realization is the goal of education. He views nature as a supreme entity. In nature, he imagines the manifestation of the creator. His naturalistic outlook is tempered with idealistic philosophy and his spiritualism is the progress of his study of ancient Indian literature and Indian philosophy. So, as a realist, he tries to regenerate the traditional culture of India. Tego opposes the contemporary educational system of India. He says, it was a foreign origin having been imported from beyond the seas. English as medium of instruction created the first insurmountable difficulty and student ill equipped at school could not <coughs> assimilate with the uh, what they were taught in colleges. At like school and university education was valued here only as passport to administrative and clerical post. And students, teachers alike thought mainly of examination and not of intellectual culture. Regarding the aim of education, Tibu says in the essay, a poet's school is the highest education is that which does not merely give us information but makes our life in harmony with all existence. He aims at perfection of men by means of education. He wants to develop of the individual of in all aspects which includes the perfection of soul. He would consider that the spiritual, physical, and intellectual life is one should convey this idea of the coming <coughs> generation. The social and cultural atmosphere of the Tegur's family plays a strong role in the formulation of his philosophy of education. Without having any professional degree, Tegur develops a well integrated view of life and about important role of education in society. From his own practical knowledge, he strongly feels that there should be a new approach in education and he put it in practice of his own school. At a, as, as a poet philosopher, he later advances his theory of education for international unity among various cultures between East 
and the poised. According to Tagore, the aim of education is to develop person's character. So he has given stress the education should be balanced and completed without neglecting any part of man's quality. To achieve the, this goal, education should aim to improve all sides of man's nature, his intellectual, physical and moral power. The project of education is to give man the unity of truth. His educational philosophy contains three main features. Their freedom, creative self-expression, and active communication with the man and nature. He emphasizes on the attainment of an inner freedom, an inner power, and enlightenment. <coughs> Philosophy of education of Taylor can't be understood without the knowledge of his metaphysics. According to him, reality is one where man, nature and God are eminently related. In fact, they are the three dimensions of reality. His approach to ultimate reality was integral. He believes in an inner harmony between man and nature. On the one hand and nature, God and the other. I am focusing some important points of the education. Uh, the aims of education is deeply follow some important things is self-realization. According to Ramindana Tagore, the aim of education is self-realization. It means the realization of individual soul in one's life. The individual will not be able to attain self-realization without education. He believes that individuals are potentiality, divine, and they can realize this potentiality. Even individual has a spark of divinity in him which inspire him for self-attainment. Self-realization is the true nature of human beings. Spiritualism is the essence of humanism, which reflects in his educational philosophy. Exhibition of personality is based upon the self-realization and spiritual knowledge of individual. The second important thing is the intellectual development. A good stress on the intellectual development of the child, but intellectual development he means the development of child's imaginary power, curiosity, creative, free thinking, and activeness of the mind. Child should be given freedom to choose his own way of learning to attain all round development. The important thing another there is another physical development. Tagore also emphasizes on the physical development of child. He gives importance of healthy and should, uh, sound body of child. He believed that a healthy mind lives in a physically fit body. In Shanti Nikatan, game and sports, yoga and different physical activities are considered as a part of parcel of the education system. Love for unity, the another important things. As a humanist, they would consider the whole universe as one family. It can be realized one by means of education, education for universal brotherhood and international understanding is another important goal of his educational philosophy. If we believe God is our father and we are his children, the feeling of oneness can be evolved. All individuals are equal in the world. Next important, there is a foundation of correlation between human and God. Man bears some inborn and innate qualities and potentialities given by God. There is a strong and permanent relationship between man and God due to the spiritualistic nature of human being. It is possible to build a harmonious relationship between man God and nature. The another important 
there's, they were strongly focused on the freedom of the Dalai one of the integral aspects of the human development. And, so the freedom, it is another important part, and also he was strongly focused on the develop, uh, the medium of instruction is the mother tongue, and he strongly focused to the develop moral development and spiritual development of the learners, and side by side also the social development. In some, they would try to convey his philosophy of education to the contemporary generation and made it relevant to the future generation as a social and educational reformer he initiated to establish institution like Vishwabharata Shantiniketan as the motto of Atra Visvam Avatyabhaniram as effective models of new education system he traced on compulsory free education for all Indian children discarding their caste, creed and socio-economic status the educational ideas of Tagore has paved the way for the general education policies and practices in India. In the materialistic world of today, Tagore's desire for acquiring aesthetics and intuitive knowledge is very relevant. His contribution to our educational system is unparalleled and unforgettable. Thank you. Thank you for the continued uh, discussion about Tegu's theory of education. He is very uh, relevant to today's, uh, relevant to uh, uh, present situation. We should practice his theory of education in our everyday life and school teaching. Thank you. Anyone have questions? Then stand up and put your questions to share. आत्मनिर्भरशील काउंसिलिंग बा पेरेंटी लेवल थे के तादर मुदे रिलेजिशन था जी इटा जम फ्री भावे तारा जिनो छात्र छात्री दे निजे देर पुरी बारे मोत थे के पुर भावे तारा का धोरे नीचे तारा शेठा के इम्प्लीमेंट करा चीज़ था कोई रोमिना ठाकुर के ना बोलते पाले बा ना जानते पाले पकोने शेठा करा संभव नहीं Thank you, Nimbal.
আমরা অন্য ডিপার্টমেন্টে হয়েও মানে অন্য সাবজেক্টে হয়েও বেশ ভালোই বুঝতে পারছি সবাই ইউনিটিং টক্স নিয়ে স্যারের এরপরে নিউ নলেজ হলো নাও আই উড লাইক টু ইনভাইট ডক্টর মিষ্টু রায় সামন্ত ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ বেঙ্গলি বর্ধমান রাজ কলেজ টপিক অফ আর টক ইস বেদান্তা অ্যান্ড বিবেকানন্দ ওয়ান থিং প্লিজ স্পিকার্স নোট আফটার ফোর মিনিটস উইল রিং দ্য ডে সো দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান গেট অ্যালার্ট অ্যান্ড কনসলিডেট ইউর টক উইদ ইন অ্যানাদার ওয়ান মিনিট and then for one and half to two minutes we can take some questions i'd uh, uh, like to invite mr to uh, deliver a talk before that aajker antarjatik ei onushthan tite ba alochona shobhe যে বিষয়টা আমি নিয়েছি সেই বিষয়ে যাওয়ার আগে আমাদের প্রিয় অনুপাদী এবং আমার প্রিয় ছাত্রছাত্রীরা এবং প্রাক্ষ ছাত্রীবৃন্দ সকলের প্রতি সমান যথাযোগ্য সম্মান জানিয়ে আমার প্রসঙ্গটা আমি খুব সংক্ষেপে বলব কারণ বিষয়টি বেদান্ত এবং বিবেকানন্দ দুটি শব্দ যতটাই সংক্ষিপ্ত মনে হোক না কেন এটি যেন সমুদ্রের মতো গভীর এবং বিস্তৃতি রয়েছে এই দুটি শব্দের মধ্যে সেই দৃশ্যটা আমি দেখাবো এই কম সময়ে সেগুলোকে বেঁধে ফেলার বা ব্যাখ্যা করার আমার সামান্য জ্ঞান দিয়ে সেগুলোকে নিজের মতো বর্তমান সময়ের প্রেক্ষিতে বুঝে নেওয়ার চেষ্টা করব আমরা সবাই জানি যেগুলো আমার পেপারটি ইংলিশে কিন্তু আমার এখানে ছাত্রছাত্রী বন্ধুরা আছে আমাকে দুটি ভাষায় ব্যবহার করতে হবে তাদের কাছে পৌঁছতে গেলে এনসিট ইন্ডিয়া ওয়াজ দ্য ল্যান্ড অফ বিভিন্ন উপনিষদ ট্রুথ সত্যের এই ত্রিবিধ ধারাকে যদি মাথায় রেখে বেদান্ত বিষয়ে দিয়ে একটি কথা জেনে নেওয়া যায় তাহলে বোধ হয় বিবেকানন্দের দৃষ্টিভঙ্গিটিকে বুঝতে সুবিধা হয় প্রথমত ব্রহ্ম ইজ দ্য আলটিমেট রিয়েলিটি হোয়েন ব্রহ্মা ইজ অ্যাসোসিয়েট উইথ ইটস মায়া ইট ইজ কল কট অর্থাৎ ব্রহ্মের সঙ্গে মায়ার সংযোগ ঘটলে ঈশ্বরের অনুভূতি চাই এই সুন্দর পৃথিবীতে জল ইজ অনলি ফ্রিডম অ্যান্ড ইট ইজ দ্য ইনহেন্ট নেচার অফ হিউম্যান বিং দ্য গোল অফ হিউম্যান লাইফ ইজ টু রিয়েলাইজ গড রিলিজিয়ান টিচেস আস টু এনরিচ দ্য ইনহেন্ট ডিভিনিটি অফ হিউম্যান বিংস অর্থাৎ আমাদের সত্তার মধ্যে লুকিয়ে থাকা যে ঐশ্বরিক শক্তি বা ঐশ্বরিক সত্তা সেটিকে অনুভব করাটাই বোধ হয় ধর্ম ধর্মের যে বাহ্যিক অর্থগুলিকে সরিয়ে রাখি এবং ঈশ্বরের অংশ হিসাবে আমাদের মধ্যেকার যে ঐশ্বর্যবান সত্তা সেটিকে উপলব্ধি করতে পারি তাহলেই ধর্মের প্রকৃত সত্যটি উদ্ঘাটিত হয় বেদান্ত ধর্ম সম্বন্ধে বলতে গিয়ে বা এই ঐশ্বরিক সত্তাটি সম্বন্ধে বলতে গিয়ে বলছেন এই এক্ষেত্রে আমাদের যেতে হবে কর্মযোগা দ্যাট ইজ আনসেলফিস অ্যাকশন জ্ঞানযোগা দ্যাট ইজ নলেজ রাজযোগ দ্যাট ইজ মেডিটেশন অ্যান্ড ভক্তি যোগ দ্যাট ইজ ডিভোর্সন এই পথটা অবলম্বন করে গিয়ে আমরা শেষ পর্যন্ত সেই ঈশ্বর এবং মানবের এক সংযোগ রূপ দেখতে পাবো বিশ্বাস করে এই বেদান্তের সামান্য এইটুকু অংশ বুঝে নিয়ে এবার আমরা বিবেকানন্দ অংশে প্রবেশ করার চেষ্টা করি বিবেকানন্দ
ছড়িয়ে দেবো না আমাদের প্রাচ্যিক জীবনে তার ব্যবহার আনবো দ্য কনসেপ্ট অফ ডেভেলপ হুইচ ইজ ডিভেলিটি অফ ম্যান ইনফ্লুয়েন্স সমিজি মোস্ট প্রতিষ্ঠা করলে রামকৃষ্ণ মিশন এবং সেখানে আমরা লক্ষ্য করব খুব সংগতভাবে জীবজ্ঞানের শিব সেবা বা শিবজ্ঞানের জীব সেবা সেটার প্রসঙ্গ এল তারপরেই বিবেকানন্দের যে প্রসঙ্গগুলো দু একটি বলি আমি আমার বক্তব্য শেষ 